Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 10th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the P or W function or the par function and uh, the par function helps us perform the exponentiation operation. Now, it might sound complicated but it's actually very simple. If you have to raise a number to the power of something else then uh, you have to use the power function basically right so if you want to calculate the square of 5 that's 5 times 5 you can use the power function now you know it might not seem to be of much value if you just have to calculate squares and cubes or if you have to multiply a number with itself like four times or five times and then you can just multiply using the you know asterisk symbol you know by using the multiplication operation sorry operator but if you have to raise a number to the power 7 or 8 or 9 or you know some greater value then you know the power function comes in very handy because it saves a lot of time and you will have to type in you know lesser amount of code and that's always beautiful. So let's just see how it works and you must have noticed that in this program I have two header files instead of one. The first one is the stdio.h header file and this is something that we've used. Uh, in the past but the other header file is the math.h header file and uh, this header file is required if you want to use the power function the pow function then you have to use this header file on line one i have a comment and of course i've saved the file it's called pow underscore function dot c I've declared the main function and the curly braces are in place so we are set to type in our code and uh, you know i'm just going to declare an integer first and um, I'm going to call my variable x and uh, this variable is going to hold the value of the exponentiation operation so type in int space x put a semicolon to terminate the statement and now I'm going to you know, use the power function to calculate the cube of 5 and assign the value to x so the way I do that is by typing in x equals p o w and since it's a function it obviously has to be followed by a um, pair of parentheses and you know I just type in double quotation marks accidentally you don't need double quotation marks when you're using the pow function you just have to give it two arguments the first one is uh, the number and the second one is the part of the number and uh, I'll have to type in 5 comma 3 here because I want to calculate 5 to the power 3 and I put a semicolon to terminate this statement and now I'm going to use printf to display the value that gets stored in x and since x is an integer I have to use the percentage d format specified to display its value I put a comma and then type in x to have its value on screen a semicolon to terminate the statement I save the file click on build and run and you see the output is 125 and that's because 5 times 5 is 25 and when you multiply 25 by 5 you get 125 so you know as I said you know this thing it won't seem to be of much value if you're just calculating the cube of number but suppose if you want to calculate 2 to the power 8 right now if you would do that using the multiplication operator then you'll have to type in 2 times 8 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times you know like 8 times and that would be like very boring and you don't want to do that so just use the power function and it saves a lot of time so you get the value as 256 so i hope that makes sense and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys are enjoying uh, the series i'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we're going to discuss something interesting again and um, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon